Alberto, and I have decided to make this small video about uh, my Akbash dog. My Akbash dog, Akbash dog was born in July 7th, uh, 2016. He will be six months in uh, well, a few weeks, basically. Uh, he currently weighs uh, close to 60 pounds, you know, 57 pounds right now. And uh, I had him, or I received him from a breeder uh, from Oklahoma, an Oklahoma farm where they breed these dogs. And I got the dog um, approximately at age three months old. So you can see the Akbash here. Now, I was reluctant to get this dog at first because of the bad reputation that I hear or I was finding on the web. Uh, this dog is uh, originated from uh, Turkish and it's a guard dog for you know, uh, the flocks and lamb and sheep uh, in Turkey and these, this dog basically is a working dog that has been there in, for centuries working as a, probably time, at the time of the Romans uh, flocking sheep. So, you know, the internet, when you do a research about this dog, will say, will show that these dogs are fairly independent, that these dogs are hard to train, that these dogs are very difficult and dominant dogs, and that they should not be used as a family dog. Uh, the reason why I got this dog is I want, you know, I like the specifications of the dog, I wanted a big a gigantic breed. Uh, I also like the fact that it's a different dog, it's exotic breed, uh, and I love the color uh, and also his personality, uh, temperament, and characteristics of this dog. Uh, you know, the other thing about uh, dogs, they say that these breeds are not very good with children, that these breeds are not recommended with children because they can be uh, aggressive towards children. Uh, on the other hand, I find that Prince is uh, loving and caring to my daughter, who is seven years old, and in no way he has ever harmed her or growled at her. Uh, I can see that this dog is dominant. For example, he wants to be the leader of the pack as far as what is concerned with uh, my other dogs, this boxer, who is uh, seven years old. And uh, he also has some strong praying uh, tendencies towards the kitten that you see here. So when the kitten is moving or walking or running away, then you know the, the dog will try to chase and go after her. But, you know, nothing serious, no injuries, no bites towards my other animals. Uh, he will do that also with a uh, Australian Shepherd, a mini toy Australian Shepherd that we have. Can you bring Eva, Kata? Uh, well, uh, you know, a small chihuahua-sized dog. And um, when the chihuahua-sized dog is running away, uh, he will go after and chase after her. But he has not harmed her in any ways. Um, now, there is some issues of food aggression described on the website about this dog. But if you teach him early on um, and correct any wrong behaviors, then... You know, that does not become an issue, really. Uh, I don't know if you can see the cat here and the Akbash. Uh, no. It has these tendencies. Overall, well, this dog is supposedly should be a dog that should be, you know, uh, guarding flocks, uh, should be in the meadows, in a big uh, farm, and this dog should not be a family dog. That's basically what most of the websites say, that this dog doesn't know how to, uh, how to walk on a leash, or it can be very hard to train them, they're very dominant, and you know, they would make a bad family dog. So you know, I'm doing the test and see how this dog behaves and relates. Uh, so far, you know, he's about to be six months old, and I have had not any single issues of aggressive behaviors serious aggressive behavior or, or, or behaviors that require correction. 
uh, as far as teaching this dog to walk on a leash. It's not very difficult. Catalina, get the leash. Uh, I'm gonna, I want you to walk, uh, you know, uh, Prince on the leash to, to see how he, he follows directions. Yeah, so, you know, as far as the food aggression, this dog uh, is, you know, hasn't shown that. I, I'm able to put my hands on his uh, dog food when he's eating, and, you know, he will not at all harm me or uh, try to bite me. Uh, he will respect the other dogs. Uh, he will go after the other dogs' yeah. meals, but you know, if I'm there, you know, he will not do that. And uh, okay. for the most part, he is able to eat next to the other dogs without showing any uh, serious uh, food aggression on the dog. So, you know, overall, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the dog, the way this dog is developing. Uh, you know, it's a, a pure breed, even though it doesn't have any registration or papers. I was not interested on it. But, you know, when I'm reading about the qualities of the breeds of this dog, the physical characteristics and the temperament, uh, he does matches most of what it says in there. Uh, he has one uh, anomaly, which would be the claws. You know, he has double claws on his legs, and there's not good lighting here, uh, on his... Uh, back legs uh, the, the close up here all right close up so can be noticed so I'm grabbing his legs here so this is all right this is what the double legs he has in here no. He's just nipping at me, but he's not biting. Uh, I mean, he is playful. So this would be. Hi, Prince. Hey. Hey. Dogs. Oh, on this dog. Yeah. Now, uh, I'd like to demonstrate how he walks on a leech. Uh, so, to see. Okay, Prince, come. Come. Go here, boys. Let's go. So, you know, he follows on commands. I'm calling him, he, he follows. Uh, so, uh, it's, it, it's developing pretty well. Uh, I'd like to illustrate when he, he's eating uh, to demonstrate how he eats and, and also there is no dog adoration about that. But I'm gonna put a simple leash on it. And then my daughter will walk him to show. Okay, you put the leash. What? Oh, I forgot. By the way, her injury did not happen. It's not related to any dog bites, but she does have a small injury on her hand. It's related more to uh, an accident with a door. A door. <laughs> no, not related. Okay, sit, Prince. Prince, this is very hard. Print, sit, 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 stay. The boss. Okay. Okay. Let go. Put the leash. Okay. We have the leash on. Now my daughter walk. Walk, Prince. Come on, Prince. Let's go, boys. Prince, relax. I'm a little excited now. But uh, overall, he's doing a pretty decent job working on the leash despite his uh, age. Of course, we still need to train him. Uh, but you know, one of the recommendations on many of these websites say that never let uh, a child handle this dog on a leash uh, because they are unpredictable and uh, they can you know, have some aggressive behaviors but you know I haven't seen that of course most of the handling on the leash is done by me but overall I think uh, Prince will prove to be a very good family dog you know, and he'll continue to develop I will post uh, from time to time some other videos 
if there is any problematic behavior, I will put it online so that other people who are considering this beautiful breed uh, may take it into consideration.